France Prime Minister and President Biden sitting down for a while today at the White House. While foreign affairs took center stage, the two also talked about something with major implications for the Northland. Good evening, I'm Dan Wolf. Laura has the night off. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today's visit comes amid a proposed acquisition of U.S. steel by a Japanese company, a move that would impact workers at at least two Iron Range mines. Northern News Now's Jack Wiedner breaks down whether the diplomatic visit has economic impacts as well. A multi-billion dollar deal could soon bring U.S. steel under Japanese ownership, which would affect two Iron Range mines, Kitak and Mintak. President Biden has been vocal in his opposition to Nippon Steel's plans. He wants the infrastructure money to be spent on goods and supplies and workers in the United States. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is visiting with Biden in Washington this week. In public appearances, the two leaders have largely focused on diplomatic ties rather than economic issues. Political science professor Cindy Rougely says that's typical of a formal visit. It's something that strengthens the relationship. It's a visible display, too, that the two countries are friends. Iron Rangers like Aaron Brown have been watching the visit closely. Brown says the Nippon Steel deal came up briefly during a press conference Wednesday. The president was asked about the deal and reiterated his concern with the merger. The prime minister of Japan uh, didn't offer any comments about it. Brown says the deal is still deeply unpopular on the Iron Range and beyond. Particularly with the United Steelworkers, the union that represents all the taconite mines and steel mills from the Iron Range to the Rust Belt. Brown says the visit is a chance for Biden and Kishida to level with each other, but it's unlikely to move the needle. They also have a lot of other things going on, so we, we can't necessarily read that just because the president's meeting with the prime minister that it will lead to the conclusion of this merger. For Northern News Now, I'm Jack Wiedner. Now we tried to reach local union reps for an interview today but didn't hear back. However, we did just obtain a USW memo sent to members this evening. In it, the union says, quote, further evidence that Nippon Steel will continue to prioritize its Japanese operations at the expense of U.S. workers. They're seeing that and we're going to have more on that coming up tonight at 10 o'clock.